Now, guys. Back with some more Final Fantasy 16. For those just joining in. Um, so, yeah, so far we got all the icons. So, we killed Barnabas, took his Odin. Well, he gave us his Odin, actually. <laughs> so, we had no choice. Of course, I would have definitely taken it if I was Clive, but. At the same time, though, we're doing exactly what Ultima wants us to do. Get as strong as possible. And so, yeah, we're finally at the last Mother Crystal. We're going to destroy it. And we'll see what happens to the world <laughs> after that happens. Um, so, yeah, pretty much the only Dominus left is Joshua and Clive, actually. All the other dominants gave their power to uh, Clive. What the hell happened here? I dare not think. A stroke of good fortune, perhaps. Oof. But yeah, I'm pretty sure all these soldiers got killed by the right. orcs and Akashic. So do I. But. Yeah, it's a huge mother crystal. I think actually all the mother crystals are huge. Streets of Madness. Yeah, it would be nice if we can finish this tonight. It would be perfect, but I have a feeling I won't. Just because maybe after the sequence they're going to have a bunch more hunts and stuff. You know, I think I might want to put Odin back on. I took it off because it was really bad for boss fights, I found out. Odin's great for uh, killing all these little guys. But not so great. You know, when fighting against big boss guys. Oh yeah, nice. Heck yeah. Alright, that's a... Uh, as much as I don't really like having Odin against bosses, I mean, we're not really up against a boss right now, so... Put Odin back on. Pretty sure the same moves. They are on. So this is definitely good for crowd control and it definitely charges thing really fast. It's intense to engage. Here we go. What manner of beast must we fight here? Maybe we should turn it. <laughs> Maybe switching to uh, Odin was a little premature. Yep. That's a behemoth! Have we fought a behemoth yet? That's a behemoth. I don't think so. Mad enough to tame such a beast. Yeah, we definitely have not. Uh oh. It's gonna turn into Akashic. Shit. What? Meteor! Well, I guess it's actually Comet, too. <laughs> uh oh. God damn. The thing's huge. Well, what are we waiting for? 
Uh, I'll poke. That was early. Oh. Back. I'm always early on my dodges. Can't get my timing down. Back. So I don't know how fast he's gonna strike. So I'm trying to like time it, but even then I'm too uh, too early. Oh, they count as a dodge somehow. So what level Muhammad is this? I don't think it says. Should stagger, hopefully. Oh, second phase, because it's not taking more damage. As I'll charge my Zentesic and engage them. Ecliptic. Oh shit. <laughs> Stand back. I'll conjure a ward. It's too big. <laughs> so much for that. <laughs> you free it. We need you free it. Jesus, just throw it on him. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was thinking. Why would you turn to him, brother? When you have me. <laughs> Interesting that Joshua. I haven't really seen him do limit break. I'm going to limit break mode. Nice. Do we have free stagger? No free stagger. 
I don't like that though. Nice try. <laughs> that shoulder tackle is hilarious. Oh, didn't see that coming. Oh, shit. It. Get down here. That again. Oh shit. Fuck. <laughs> that like does not work. Oh, it just killed itself. I think. <laughs> like, or maybe it's been dead, but I just had to do that. Uh, meteor on death. It does that. In uh, other Final Fantasies. Quickly, ah. before we're cut off for good. If it is like the others, the entrance to the inner sanctum will be at the foot of the crystal. We're almost there. 
I We're gonna get a bunch of potions. Yeah. I'll take it. It's more Kashuk just chilling, waiting for us. Bring them all. That's so nice. Almost like ten levels above these enemies. Uh, definitely a good choice to go back to Zentetsuken or to Odin, killing all these small fry enemies. It's really nice. Got some more for small fry enemies. That's just too good. I'm just level up the next set. I can kind of understand why they give you Odin right now. Too good. Uh, I'm gonna go the other way just to see if there's a treasure or something over there. No chest up here? It's 
kind of unfortunate. It's just... Oh, there's a chest. Watch it be, yep. Totally nothing. <laughs> okay. Boom, boom, boom. Alright. Well, I guess I technically didn't even have to go all the way around. Oh, looks like a bigger boy to fight out here. Maybe they just orcs. Yeah, they just orcs. Oh, that's a big boy. Call the little guys out. Oh, double dodge. be kind of cool if we, there was like a boss rush type of thing where we just fight a bunch of the once we step onto that bridge we'll be easy targets people we fought already just maybe like shadows of them or ultima impersonating them or something oh that's lame Jesus. Oh, I accidentally used a high potion. So I was panicking a little bit. Yeah, it reminds me of like the Hulk. Over. It's kind of funny because like every time I get gill and stuff from enemies, it's pretty much getting potion money because <laughs> there's really no need to buy anything else. Oh, wait, did it come from this way? Most likely. Oh, it's probably this door. Yeah, it's the door. Wait, did we come from the door? Yeah, we did come from the door. Yeah, should we just... I don't know. Through the castle, oh. I don't we did not. I can appreciate that... Whoops. 
that most of the levels are pretty linear. With some, you know, areas where it's like big open field, but even then it's not that much to explore. Even then it's not really encouraged for us to explore. Let's see what this does. I didn't even get that satellite move. Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't like that. Maxed out potions. High potion. Two bloody eyes. Potion? Regular potion. Alright, what enemy do we got here? Oh, it's a catch a curl. Great. Ah, I dodged early. Oh. We can find like a A or S rank version. We can definitely <laughs> kill this version of it. Five hundred. Oh, Eight twenty-four. It's a pretty random amount. Too bad you can't like fuse a bunch of these like lower level crafting materials into something better. Way too good. Way too good. I can't tell which way I'm supposed to go. Focus. 
Fortress Joshua. <laughs> hey, there's not enough of them. That's so satisfying. Just kill everything in one go. Uh. It recovers so fast too. I'm already halfway recovered. To so use another what do we call it? blade flurry. Ninjas. There's always fucking more. <laughs> I love the pose at the end. Even though I miss. Where's the other guy? He's not in front of me. Gotta dodge right away. It's over. enemies
Was those too far away? Damn, there's actually like a... What you call it? Too far away... What do you want to call it? I don't even know. Range. <laughs> Range just a Tetsugan. I'm pretty sure they're gonna die from the tornado. If they don't, then I will use this. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna be another. My god. <laughs> Keep him coming. Hopefully, my Mega Flare just continues. Nope, they reset my Mega Flare. Son of a bitch. Worth it. <sighs> so many enemies. There's more. There's more. What you gotta do? Oh, it is. No end to them. The whole bloody army's here. Odin. <laughs> oh. Stand back, Joshua. I'm summoning a freight. Stop, Clive. You mustn't. We still have a long way to go. If you tap your strength here, you'll have none left to destroy the heart. Then you'd rather die? Surprise! The Enterprise is here! <laughs> Out of nowhere. Uh, how convenient. Oh, Jill! And Dion! Oh, yeah, she still has some of her powers, but. Actually, I'm still not 100% sure how that works. Anymore. <laughs> like Clive taking people's powers. She's not alone. 
They're about to play that Final Fantasy main theme song, but cut it off too short. Oh. Reunited. Surprised to see us. How did you? Gav. He told us exactly where you'd be. Even sniffed out a crack in the castle wall. <laughs> and when we saw the heavens come crashing down, we had no choice but to believe him. Oh. <laughs> Talking about the meteor coming down. It's been quite a day. <laughs> so what do we owe this honor? A debt I would see repaid. Prince Dion. It's good to see you well. So, this must be Ifrit. <laughs> you haven't even seen them in our full form yet. Listen to your heart. You guide your steel true. Your father would expect no less. That is all. That is all. Thank you. For everything. Your Highness. Dion, please. <laughs> you do realize the only thing we've freed so far is this wall from its foundations, right? It's good. Now if your lord and ladyship... There it is. The main theme song. <laughs> so gaff. No, I need to, uh... Put that on my playlist. Main Final Fantasy theme song. It's so like uplifting. It's so good. All right, looks like last ditch to make stuff. Good. Stay safe. Stay safe. Won't take kindly to losing the best customer, especially after letting us carry all this stuff all the way to Ash. And we wouldn't want to anger old Nan. Old Nan. You'll buy some of offers. <laughs> Let's see. Let me show you me wares. Me wares. Wow. <laughs> it's the best weapon you can buy if you haven't been doing all this other stuff. Is five, you know, stats weaker. And then the Ragnarok. Same with the Circle of Heaven, probably. Oh, it's actually slightly better. Hmm. I think I should. Might as well. I can spare the change. Uh, what if I can actually just craft it? Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can craft it straight up. Uh, all this stuff again, I could have bought, but I don't want to. <laughs> I was like, I accidentally sold those. So I was like, no. Make sure I don't sell the wrong thing. I think I counted that right. The big ammo. need, leave it to me. Look, we'll I have to buy it. Looks like. You don't want me to make yours out else. How's else? Gonna buy this. Is there out else you need? Thank you. And I could have gotten the best, I guess, the best armor in the game, but I'm gonna want to save that for Is there best weapon in the game. That's like you get the best weapon in the game after the game ends. Like, uh, so need, sad. Too bad I can't upgrade the. Yeah, too bad I can't get this. You've not got enough materials. Not enough cash, stranger. Yeah. Huh. So yeah, I could craft the best armor, but... It's just not enough. It's only 21 defense, which... Our defense is a lot lower than our attack, just Anything the way it is. Else but... I can make for you? Oh, else. Um... Yeah, let's go and save. Let's... Let me see something. Can we even teleport out of here? Will they let us? They will, actually. So if we haven't been doing our side questing and whatnot, we can do it now. But no, let's get her done. Let's talk to everybody. 
Hey, buddy. You're the best. Each parting brings the hope of reunion. I missed you, Clive. I missed you too. If Sid were here today, I reckon he'd be proud of you, Clive. He'd be proud of us all. Okay. Yeah. There is still much I would learn of your tale once this day is done. Until then, all who might come between me and such knowledge shall answer to my spear. Yeah. I do not envy them. <laughs> All right, let's get going, Joshua. You see, Clive, we're not alone. If we are to win the day, we must all play our part. And ours. Ours lies beyond those doors. At once. We fall long and hard for this moment. Sid's dream. Our dream is within our grasp. We need only endure this final trial, and we shall, together. Now watch us, like, unleash so much havoc after destroying this last mother crystal. You all know what it is that awaits us beyond this gate. And we shall face it together. Together. I... <laughs> Oh, guess it's not going to be together. It's funny they did not bring a whole army. Dragoon time. I will stay them. We will stay them. Go. Just don't keep us waiting. Thank you. Damn, Dion strong. <laughs> it's even Jill and Gav pushing it. It's not as. Oh. Not pushing as fast as Dion. No. <laughs> Took us to hell in a cell. Hell in the undergrounds. They're pretty cool if we can fight as everybody else. They all have their own fighting styles. Alright, here we go. Final fight! Or final dungeon, I should say. It's all good, doggo. We're good. Joshua! Joshua! Wake up! Clive, is that you? This... This isn't stone here. <laughs> nope. We're in a... Uh, void beyond, huh? Maybe? Nah, just some other realm. Welcome to our darkness. A rift between worlds wherein your kind might reflect. Show yourself! Grave and many are the sins of man. Creepy. And we would have you know them. All of them. Creepy. As fate has seen fit to deliver you home.
Consider this our welcoming gift. Enemies. <laughs> hmm. It would seem we are trapped. And the only way out is through Ultima. We find him and we leave. Interdimensional rift. It's like an FF5. Interdimensional rift. I think. It's how we found X Death. Actually, I also have where we found uh, Gilgamesh. <laughs> he uh, helped us defeat uh, Necrophobe or something like that. If you are to comprehend the full extent of your transgressions, we must go back to the beginning. A what? When the world was still young, we visited upon it a miracle, magic, and in its light did all life flourish. Oh. It's like Atlantis. Yet the price for this boon would prove heavy. A pall descended upon the land, painting the horizon black as night. Though we labored to forestall its spread, in this one endeavor, we stood powerless. And so we fled, that we might endure, endure, that we might discover a means of salvation. If it was magic that caused the blight, what of the mother crystals? But to find out, I expect he'll tell us soon enough. Let's find the lower dump. Whoops. This place is wild. Black meaning the blight. The illness having spread to every organ, there was but one escape from this fate to start afresh. With a new world, the one for which Barnabas labored, a paradise free from the blight where his god awaits. Steps of the king. Hmm. 
and follow we shall. For now. So I'm assuming Ultima showed this to Barnabas as well, right? so blind to his own hypocrisy. Not blind, just unwilling <laughs> to admit the truth. But we're one and the same. Of Clive. Be freed. Oh, be freed. What's left of him. Long have our ashes lain cold for want of a spark. Cast your eyes upon them and see what you must become. It is what you were born to do. 
why we nursed you and fed you as your own mother should have. She was crazy. And now that you are fully grown, our Muthos, it is time at last for you to serve your purpose. To right your wrongs. If our sin is wanting to survive, then you are as marked by it as we are. The fault is yours. Our wills were born because his veins are pulsating. <laughs> Ultima's veins. And now you would have us forfeit them. All for a place in your new paradise. Do you imagine yourselves worthy of one? Mankind has no place in our world. Is this truly so difficult to comprehend? We only ever require you, Muthos, when the time comes to bid this wretched realm farewell. None shall follow, none shall remain. What do you mean, none? This is our world. Once the land's rebirth is complete, humanity will have served its purpose. Why would we continue to suffer that which has caused us so much vexation? Because the land doesn't belong to you. It belongs to us all! Never break! A what? What? That is where you are mistaken. He's cheating. You are nothing but your precious will. Brother. We're gonna have to do this old fashioned way. <laughs> and you don't have to. I grow weary of your descent. Now you must learn that this master will not tolerate disobedience. A what? A battery. You're done, Zoe. You may have created us, Ultima. But it's time we lived on our own terms. This isn't your world anymore. It's us. Yeah. Bow down, Aven. This heart's this day. Oh. Tag that my control real quick. Oh, that was early second dodge. Ow. Cheater. I cannot see. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> I keep dodging early. 
I'm panicking. Alright. I tried to dodge that. Oh my gosh, that's too fast. <laughs> Damn it. Early. <laughs> so early. Wow. Ow. Second phase. Such foul intent may not be sublime through game standing. Only with heads hung low uh -oh. is penance pay. Oh, wretched mortals incapable even of contrition. In fitting season shall we reap our heart. Fuck. I dodged early on that one. Dodged early. Oh. I didn't take damage from that one. Fuck. There's another lord? What now? The darkness bends. He means to end us. It wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> yeah. But let's make it his last. 
<laughs> yeah. Shit. Oh shit. I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> I just uh dang it, I was pretty close. Your fate is an Oh nice. Surrender the vessel unto the darkness. Surrender it unto us. Can I restart again? <laughs> Oh, my potions are full. For some reason.
Damn it. <laughs> that is so funny. You dead yet? That was so early. What trick me? Miss Les. Finish him. I can probably send Tetsuka in him. <laughs> what? Vanquish? No way. Can't be it. Mm. Well, they said there was another lord above Ultima. So we just gotta find out who that is. At last, for countless generations, have we awaited this moment. It reminds me of Kane a little bit, or Cecil even. I guess more Cecil, because that's like the dark night colors. Uh-oh. What's gonna happen? Your struggles have made you strong. Yet your soul remains heavy with sin. Absolution is nigh. Repent, and all shall be forgiven. What? My control? Oh, yeah. He should have been the heir of. Oh. Daddy and Joshua. G 
Jill and Little Jill. <laughs> Sid and Mid. Oh. Poor Sid. Poor Mid. Wonder who uh Mid's mama is. Oh, Sid. Tell me, Clive. How many lives have you saved since taking my name? Guilt trip time. Fewer than we have ruined. Wherever we go, we leave a sea of tears in our wake. These, these are the wages of your will, son. What good are our choices when all they ever bring all they will ever bring is death. There's no atoning, Clive. No matter how hard you try. So why not leave it all behind? Dang. That guilt trip. Leave it all behind. I'll get to some regrets. How? Oh, oh, Josh. Josh was the only one that didn't say anything. Fly! Yeah, like, big ambition requires. Not necessarily like screwing over other people, but in this case, obviously, we killed so many people and enemies. Once Benedicta! You me. Won't love me? Oh, we tried. No, screw that guy. She is not mine. <laughs> screw not that guy. Screw that guy. From will is born desire, and it is this oh, yeah, this which guy. consumes you, rendering you incomplete. Do you not see how the world bends and warps under the weight of your hungering hearts? What if it could all rivals? <laughs> I guess they are all rivals. We killed them all. After all. Just go away. Clive! Joshua. Phoenix Gate. <laughs> We're all started. None of this is real. Wake up. It's time to go home, Clive. Clive. Bro? Oh. That's right. You're my brother. Brother. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Once more, lest you forget. <laughs> My name is Clive. Clive Rossfield. Look, Ultima. I will just die in here. The light of the vessel's will cannot be quenched, and the phoenix 
His trespass should not have been possible. Not possible unless... Unless... He has been with Muthos all along. Can we take his powers at the, the beginning? The mark of the phoenix, emblazoned upon his heart, made manifest by the power of will alone. The power of creation. Can it be? Are their wills truly so potent? <laughs> Finish him. Oh, yeah. It's the combined Risen Ifrit or something. I don't know what the combined icon's called. Oh yeah. Take some hellfire. <laughs> Ultimate's like, oh shit. Uh this is no mere evolution, it is deviation. Deviation. And here from does Logos rise. Logos. Oh, he did. <laughs> He did for real. He wasn't dead before he's dead now. Oh wow, was that the actual heart of the Mother Crystal the whole time? Was Ultima the heart of the Mother Crystal? Interesting. There's definitely one more big baddie. That felt too easy. And plus there's a whole set of summons. Ashes, ashes. Yeah, there's a whole set of, not summons, uh, hunts left. Well, how do we get out of here? Damn it, Clive. Wake up. <laughs> Sorry to wake you. But I think it may be time to leave. Ah, my this face. Place. My face. yourself a god. You embrace Logos. But we will put an end to this hubris. What are you talking about? In the halls of origin does our true power quicken. And there shall you be made complete. Soon, Muthos. Soon you will discover how little you know of suffering. Oh no! <laughs> Alright. Well, all the mother crystals are dead. But I'm pretty sure... Ultima still. And so the crystals are no more. Yet in their silence, a new song rings. Its chorus building. A crescendo as it enters its final movement. Stirring those long slumber to waking. And back to their origin. I had a feeling once all the crystals are destroyed, all hell is going to break loose.
Because I guess if anything, the uh, mother crystals kind of help regulate aether flow, even though it's draining. Oh, aether from uh, the area. Oh, so that's Sambrek, like the capital. So that's the final dungeon. Oh, is this when we turn the Enterprise into an airship? I think they've been like hinting towards it this whole time, that's why I'm kind of like... <laughs> oh, but... All these Akashic are gonna dissolve randomly. Is that how this is gonna work? The bloody crystal's cracked, so where the hell are they? Fuck me. You might want to kill everybody first before you look at whatever's going on <laughs> in the sky. Is that ether? What in good Grieger's name is going on? This is wrong. Brothers are back, baby. Are we back? Clive! Joshua! Jill! Is everyone all right? We're fine. What happened? Too much to explain here. Mate! Leaving! <laughs> yes. Now. Everyone, fall back to the ship. I will be with you and none. A what? Thank you. Let's go dying. <laughs> Whoa. Not like this, Dion. Okay, good. <laughs> he was hesitant to leave for whatever reason. So you gotta get back to your mans. Well, now one new crystal has come out of the ground, pretty much. Alright. I kind of hope there's no more side quests and just hunts. But I'm sure there's, there has to be something. I need to tell everyone what happened to Drake's spine. And I'm going to need Otto's help. There's something about <clears throat> Still alive, I see. Something tells me that I saw on the horizon is your doing. <laughs> How'd you manage that? It's a long story. One that I'd rather only tell once. Right. All hands on deck, then. this everyone <laughs> it's all the main people anyways as I'm sure you've all guessed the crystal which now commands the eastern skies was summoned by Ultima he called it origin now the significance of that name is as yet unclear what does it matter what it's called its emergence tore Twinside asunder and wiped my homeland from the map. Oof. Uh, 
Mention of the Dominion Spires can be found in the oldest of Vanistian records. But to the best of my knowledge, none provide any hint as to their true nature. That they would prove the Oops. horns of some slumbery demon. Well, the Dominion's demise was at least quick. Elsewhere, the Republican army cannot hope to contain the chaos engulfing Randalar. Canva is in flames, and the Empire. Our allies are crying out for answers. I've said the curse break is to give them what assurances we can, but right now that amounts to fuck all. They wouldn't be able to stop what the skies have started in any case. People here and across the realm grow sicker with every passing day. Could it be that this new mother crystal is like the others? That it draws upon the land's ether? It certainly looked that way from stone here. If that were true, it would explain the hastening spread of the blight since the crystal's appearance, would it not? And as the land's ether slowly rises to the surface, it pools, corrupting all who cannot channel its energies. Arche above, ether floods below, and in the middle, here we languish, hopelessly entrapped. faced him at stone here ultima told us his true power quickens in the halls of origin needless to say we cannot allow that to continue if we are to stop him we will have to find a way into the crystal how are we gonna manage that then it's up in the sky and fast as she is the enterprise can't fly about to though It's a lot to take in, and I reckon we'd all benefit from some time to clear our heads. The answer will come to us. Don't you worry. Ain't that right, Clive? Right. That's right. right too. Well, go on, then. Bugger off. <laughs> Bugger off. Same goes for you, Clive. You won't solve anything like this. Trust me. Go get some fresh air, right? It's like I already know we're gonna build an airship. Thank you. It's a Final Fantasy without an airship. Joshua seemed upset. Ultima may have created us, but he doesn't make us who we are. Only we can do that. And if he would have us fight for our survival, so be it. It's what we've been doing all along. Much like Ultima himself, it would seem. His new world being naught but a means to survive. And so, we must contend to decide which of us shall inherit the land. Should Ultima prevail, it will mean death for us all. Of that, we can be certain. But even should he fail, what world awaits us? A withered, godless place where our newfound freedom will most like prove a chain in itself. Well, there may be, but a chain can always be broken. As long as one has the will to break it, it won't be easy. It may take generations, centuries of suffering. And that is if everyone plays their part. 
but it will happen. And when it does, it will be on our terms. That is the world that awaits us. <laughs> Indeed. And what better world could one wish for? First, we have to reach that crystal. Then it's a good thing I have wings. You can barely stand, let alone fly. And only the founder knows what horrors await in those skies. Are you certain about this? Am I certain? I am the Phoenix. I will do what I must. This is our fight. Remember? I think so. <laughs> All right. I yield. But only what you must. Yes. I am still your sworn shield. That you are. And what of my wings? <laughs> what of my wings? Let's do it. You go to stand against a god. I would not have you succumb to fatigue before the fight begins. Ifrit, eh? your brother mentioned that some few of the dominants who had lost their power to you were still able to prime. Is that true? Oh, yeah. It is. But their icons no longer submitted to their will. Ah. Then mine will have to be stronger. That you both might save your strength for the battle to come. You don't have to do this. If you do, there's a chance you might lose all you have left. And what have I but regret? My life ended in the Dominion. I fear death no more. Besides, <laughs> I would have words with Ultima. It's when I talk. He has much to answer for. Pretty much wrecked his family. That's what. Ultima did to Dion. We are in your debt, Dion. No Can more debts. Debt, so oh. <laughs> no more debts. Oh, maybe he's going to fly us there. It's like, how are we going to get up there? I think they just rigs the Enterprise to fly, but that doesn't mean that we have to, does it, I don't know. We'll see. Time to talk to Jill. Time to talk to Jill. I only hope she understands. She in our bedroom? Kind of. Look at these letters. Might have Cyclus. Uh, no. Yeah. Tail makes four. Oops. <laughs> I'm just reading all these and I gotta. <laughs> I'm not even reading these. I got a trophy. So yeah, I anticipate a little bit of side quests left, and five hunts, and that should be it for all the side content. Aside from the, um, whatchamacallit, the challenge stone things, we have to like use certain icons and they kind of preset your abilities and stuff. I have not been able to do those. I don't even know if, you know, again, if it's a damage issue or what. Come to wish on a star. <sighs> that might not be such a bad idea. This is it, Jill. You know what I have to do.
to do. Why I have to do it. There's no turning back now. This is where our journey was leading us. Where it will end, for better or worse. I could pray to Metia for you. But you'll be alright, won't you, Clive? I hope so. You always are. I did promise we'd watch the moon together. Yes. I'll be waiting. All those years ago. Oh. Hmm. There they are. It's almost time. <laughs> Before then, let's do all these side quests. Oh, wait. Need to Vivian's request. Something tells me this is no mere adventure story. I should probably read what thing actually. What oh, she actually wrote. I can do that now. Uh, in search of a lost tome, reluctant as I am to add to your burdens, I would ask your aid in a personal matter, albeit one that may be beneficial to your cause. There exists ancient texts deemed so injurious to modern thought that mere possession is deemed a crime, and it was a chance encounter with one such tome from a distance that sparked within me the scholastic curiosity which burns to this very day. I wish to enlist your aid in reclaiming that text, should you require further incentive. Know that I'm willing to offer compensation for services rendered. Vivian. Oh, Karen. Uh, in a mood. In case you haven't noticed, your poor hound spends all his time of late on the rear deck whimpering like Gav in his cups. Something ain't right, and my gut tells me it's not to be, or not to do with his supply of antelope uh, bones. <laughs> like, Dang it, Torgal. Yeah, I'm pretty sure upon doing all of these, we will um, be able to claim all of our thingies, all of our renowned awards. What's that for, India? Defender. Oh yeah. Gonna shackle. Sure. All right, so we can reinforce. Bad, if I do say so myself. I don't. I, I actually don't have enough of these clutch mines. So I didn't really grind that much, actually. So it makes sense. Uh, before I do that, sun bracelets. It last you a good while. I wonder if I can buy these clutch mines. That it. Fine. First time actually. Still alive, are ya? Do you have any clutch mine I can buy? Uh you do. Just buy a bunch. Oh. <laughs> I don't need that many. Let's just get a hundred. Could start counting by tens and I wasn't ready. Better I'll be here. Do what do I owe the honor? What do you want? What do you want? What are you buying? Um... No scratches, right? Yeah, that should do you. I should do me. You can thank me later. I'm my best work, but it'll do. Oh, now we're running out of like some of the other things. That it. Fine. I feel like I'm on a wasted materials doing that. All that. Oh well. Three's company. Clive, my boy. Clive, my boy. Rutherford informs me that we owe you our thanks. 
hadn't intended for you to get involved. But such are the times we live in, huh? I would have done the same for anyone else. You're far too modest, Clive. You'd make a terrible nobleman. But tell me, is the realm truly in as dire a state as Rutherford suggests? From what little I saw, you were right to be worried. Uh, I suppose I should have expected the worst. But I was rather hoping the great and good of the realm might have things a little more under control. Alas, it seems that firm leadership is in short supply these days, and without it, the people are bound to lose their way. We must move quickly. But where do we start? True, the challenges that face us are many. But in my estimation, there are two key areas to be addressed before any other. The realm's armies, and her larders. As you've seen firsthand, it's every man and woman for themselves out there. Certain cities have banded together to try and maintain some semblance of order, yes, but such cases are few and far between. And yet, the only remedy for the chaos that faces us is unity. A unity that transcends even the borders laid down by our ancestors. In short, if Storm does not stand together, she will fall apart. But how would one even begin to unite the realm? The armies, my boy. As I told you already, we begin by restoring order among the ranks of those sworn to maintain it. Sadly, I doubt I could convince even the lowliest gaggle of privates to dig a latrine together. Mm -hmm. But I do know someone the high commanders have been known to listen to on occasion. Field Marshal Eugen Havel. Ooh. I thought he was retired. He was, until an Akashic army tore through Randalar and killed most of the rank and file. There is no man alive more capable. Literally. And as luck would have it, I've already spoken with him on the matter. Of course you have. And he's agreed to help. On one condition. That he first speaks with you personally. Havel has always been a man of frustratingly rigid principle, and he has certain qualms about clasping arms with, well, with an outlaw. Mm. I extolled your many virtues as best I could, of course, but the old goat was adamant that he be allowed to appraise you in person. He don't mind, do you, my boy? My boy. Of course not. As long as chaos reigns, we will never build a better world. I'll do whatever it takes. And if the field marshal wishes to speak with me in person, then so be it. That's the spirit. I'll leave for Randalar at once. Would you send a Stolas? Of course. Rutherford is already in the Dalmechian capital. I'll have him tell Havel to expect you forthwith. Excellent. Thank you, Uncle. <laughs> no, thank you. Uncle. Uh, Who else we got? We got so many side quests. Even Joshua has a side quest. Oh, Clive. Joshua, what's wrong? And don't say nothing. Uh, it's... Not nothing. I've received word from Cyril. The Undying have found Father's will. Or something akin to it. His will? How and where? In the crypt beneath Rosalith Castle. After Kupka was kind enough to drive out the Imperials, the Undying took the opportunity to recover what relics of the Duchy yet remained. What was the Undying? In the process of doing so, they found a letter from Father. I'm surprised anything survived down there. Cyril asked that I join him in Tabor at my convenience. I have been meaning to go, but would you join me? Sure. Of course. Anything for experience. I don't know what's in that letter as much as you do. That too. <laughs> Very well. I'm experience and renown. So many side quests. Who are you? Oh, that's the Doris. Sid. I remember him. 
By all means. It's my old master. Seems there's no escaping her. Oh, yeah, she's she like the send me a letter. assassin lady. Else. Records from a Waluda prison. Seems they were keeping a lot of bearers there. How did she come by such a thing? Finding bearers always was her strong point. And it seems the cells of Balmung Dark are full of them. Foreign captives, the masterless. Bearers no one would miss. And even better for her, bearers with no one to look after them. When Ether started lapping at the walls, the jailers fled. True. Leaving the bearers to be liberated by whoever happened to come along next. Sid, I'd like to believe that I've earned your trust by now. And while I'm well aware that you've forbidden curse breakers from traveling to Walud, I can't let those bearers die in their cells. I'd rather risk shipwreck on the shadow coast than leave them to starve. <laughs> we'll, we'll be go together. Enterprise if we're going to navigate the narrow. Does that mean? Yep. I'm making an exception, but we travel together, and we stay no longer than we have to. Ash is an inhospitable place at the best of times. We save as many as we can, and we leave. Thank you, Sid. There was a name in the prison register. A name from my past. Chadwick. Another of my former master's protégés. A gifted soldier, and the closest thing I had to family. The thought of him held captive in that place. He must be very important to you. He was. Is. Then we find him. The entrance to the prison lies in the shadow of Ravenwit walls, just beyond the portcullis. We should head there as quickly as we can. I only pray there are still bearers alive to save. As do I, Doris. Nobody's too old. Side quests. Sid, I was wondering if you could help me. It depends what with. A bearer, but recently freed from his bonds, is keen to join the Curse Breakers. As you know, the work we do is not easy, which is why we test every volunteer's suitability. I was hoping you could oversee this one's evaluation. I don't mind, but... Yeah, why this one? Why this one? Because he wants to be a scout. Our ranks are filled with men and women capable of breaking chains and putting slavers to the sword. But scouting? We're few with the nose for that. Which is why we still rely so heavily on Gav. And since he accompanies you on so many of your missions, I thought you might be better placed to recognize the traits in him that we should look for in those who'd fill his boots. Sounds reasonable. So you're happy to oversee the boys' test, then? One can never have too many scouts. Truer words, Sid. I'll let the Initiate know that you'll be attending his trial, and that he is to proceed directly to Northreach in readiness. No time like the present, eh? No time like the present. I'll await you there. Northreach. I don't suppose they could have chosen somewhere closer. Alright, this tells me where all the other side quests in the doing? world is. Quick look. So there's three out there. Always something in there. Where are my hunts at, bruh? <laughs> Where are my hunts at? Why are there no no new hunts? Uh, so many side quests. Troublemaker kids. Sid, you have to help us. With what? With what? You didn't take apart another of Mid's contraptions, did you? No. Well, yes. <laughs> but that's not what we want to talk to you about. It's Miss Mid at all. She's been acting strange. Very strange. She's barely ever around. When she is, she acts like we aren't even there. Her head's in a crowd. In the clouds. That's what I said. In the clouds. Well, she does have a lot on her mind. When did you last see her? Um, not long ago. Ah, right after she got back from saving you from Stoneir. 
Then it's probably just about the Enterprise. It did take quite a battering on the way there and back. You didn't break it, did you, Sid? You really should be more careful around Miss Mididol's inventions. Oh, don't listen to her. Even if you did break the Enterprise, you could put it back together, couldn't you? But who's gonna put Miss Mididol back together? She seems really sad. Why don't I go and see if I can cheer her up? You do that! For us! She's in her dungeon. Don't scare him. It's not a real dungeon. Thanks for the warning. Somebody upstairs, I believe. I will not let them leave. Sid, may I have a moment? I think there's like, what, six? It is an six side quests here. <laughs> My name is Herman. And there's three more, so there's nine. The About nine turtles. For some time now. And uh, I wish to be deployed to Ash. Any assignment will do. No. Nope. The lands across the Narrow are too dangerous. I will not send good men and women to risk their lives needlessly. Why would you want to go back? I need to retrieve something. Something important. I was raised in an orphanage. The Badbach Conservatory. Badbach. Rather, I was held captive there. It was not a place of nurture. It existed solely to turn bearer children into mindless weapons. We were tortured until we feared no pain. Tormented until our hearts turned to stone. And few ever survived long enough to become tools of the last king. I can't imagine. I lost so many. I... I can't even remember all their names but they must be remembered they cannot fade away faceless and forgotten the Institute was run with military precision every child measured every name recorded every death logged with meticulous care Sid allow me to travel to Ash and recover the registry so that my brothers and sisters might live on. Oh. Yeah, I'll go and You are a good friend, Herman. But the fact remains that Ash is simply too dangerous. Sid, please. Even should it cost me my life. Too dangerous for you, Herman. But not for me. But not for me. I'll go to Bad Back and find the registry. You will? Mm -hmm. I won't let you risk your life. I don't know how to thank you. You can start by telling me where I'll find this one <laughs> The de Grace. Hidden in a forest. Overlooking the plains. All right. I'll see what I can find there. May the mothers guide you. Mothers. In your ears. I'm very curious what the Genji gloves do. So let me get these side quests completed as fast as possible. But I think I just need one side quest done, huh? If I remember correctly. I was like very close to having enough renown. Let's talk to Vivian. Vivian, I read your note, and I'd be happy to help you find the book you're looking for. Thank you, Clive. But tracking it down will not be easy. Are you sure? Please. You have always granted me your wisdom and insight whenever I asked. It's only right that I return the favor. Or at least attempt to. You are too kind. Alas, what I ask of you is rather more trying than delivering the odd lecture. I spoke with Harpocrates to see if he had any inkling as to where another copy might be found, but... But perhaps it is best that you hear the details from him. 
If you say so. Forgive me, Clive, for asking this of you. But this book, it set me on the path to becoming who I am today. Its importance cannot be overstated. Properties, but let me talk to Torgo first. Where is Torgo? Torgo is right there. I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I have a feeling I won't finish this sitting. Because there's just so much to do. So many side quests to kind of like wrap everybody's little stories up. Before going to the final, final place. Say what you will. Lady Karen is yours. Hey, buddy. Something the matter. Pining for something, boy. What is it? What do you see out there? Oh. I never did ask where you got that anklet of yours. Oh yeah. From Sade, that's why. Oh. On the day brought him home. What if there's another one? Ago. And you're only thinking to ask this now? <laughs> Sid saw that the pup had a habit of gnawing on his leg, since you ask. Oh. Clap that there iron on him to keep him from doing it. Okay. What was wrong, boy? I'll take like as not. Must have been hard on the poor whelp losing his loving masters at such a young age. Doubly hard in being a frost wolf, torn away from his icons and all. Sid would always tell him, You want my iron gone, you find what it is you're looking for. I reckon what he was looking for was you. I'm sorry, Togo. Sorry for making you wait so long. Bark, 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 bark. Let's get that thing off you. <laughs> so what? No. Don't sound like he wants <laughs> it off. Indeed. You miss it as much as the rest of us, don't you? Oh yeah, that's kind of like a parting gift. You want me to go with you somewhere? But where? Quick, aren't you? Glad you've been paying attention. Not nearly as much as you have, Lady Karen. Aye, good thing and all. It's not like Gav would have kept him in nuts and rubbed his belly these past ten summers. <laughs> in nuts. Your kindness is appreciated. You've been a good friend to him. Only because he doesn't talk back like the rest of you. <laughs> Go on, nah. man. Where to then, Toggle? Uh, let's talk to Harpocrates first. And then we can talk to Doggo, or we can go wherever we want to go. Let's probably maybe take a dinner break if it gets too late. Ah, Clive, my I'm not done with all these side what quests. Pleasure it is to see you, Hippocrates. <laughs> There's something I need to ask you. I've been charged with locating a book called From a Distance. Then you seek a rare gem indeed, one whose name I had not thought to hear from your lips. A what? You've been talking to Vivian, right as always. But she didn't seem keen to tell me very much. I take it she didn't like what you had to say. And yet I gather it did naught to dissuade her. Clive, if the young professor has tasked you with obtaining a copy, I fear she asks the impossible. The executors would not allow it. Executors. The executors. Coveters of secrets. Oh. A clandestine organization committed to the collection and intenebration of forbidden texts and technologies. One such text being the tome Vivian seeks. Chronicling as it does, the true history of the enslavement of bearers. 
a tale which could overturn the established order were it ever to become widely known. Or, so rumour has it, I've never actually read the thing, or even set eyes on it for that matter. How is it that I haven't heard of this organisation? Why, secrecy is the Executor's watchword. They lurk in the shadows, emerging only to seize that which must be seized, be it books, inventions, or people, before disappearing again, leaving nary a trace. Which would explain why Vivian's copy was snatched from her grasp not long after she found it. By the hand of the Executors, yes. But what drives them? Self-interest or ideology? Fine question. Sadly, all that is known of the Executors can be recounted in a single breath. You may just as soon ask me of their origins, numbers, or the identities of their leaders. Any answer I give would be pure speculation. Then my hunt was doomed from the first. Well. What was Vivian expecting? That I'd pluck it from thin air? From Clive. No. From Ash. A what? Rumors of the executors are rife among the scholars of Storm, but rather less so across the strait. I have a friend. Well, I had a friend in the village of Garnick, a collector of rare tomes upon which subject we would oft correspond. Alas, I have heard naught from him since the skies fell dark. And no doubt he too has turned. But oh, yeah. though he did not mention it by name, it is possible that a surviving copy of From a Distance yet rests upon one of his many shelves, quietly awaiting discovery. If you were, by some chance, able to save even a single book from the poor man's library, I know his soul would rest easier. Very well. When I next find myself in Walud, I'll be sure to pay Garnick a visit. Mm, so we'll be over there pretty soon. Right, let's uh, do this for fun. Good morrow to you, my friend. Having never visited, I cannot. I make no. Oh, that's the same one. I have a few new notes that might interest you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm pretty sure. This, oh. I believe you will find most interesting. Barnabas's mother? Oh, yeah. I remember it was his mother. <laughs> What subject shall we consider today? Well, best theory is it full? It's full. Maybe. Actually, we don't know if it's... Well, I don't even know if there's, like, empty... things. Like, empty... Are there what should have been empty slots? That's too much reading. I don't want to do man. Oh yeah, that <laughs> brat. <laughs> Though that brat was you influenced by Ultima, so. Right, anything else here before I leave? Oh. Something in there. Yes, let's go. Then we'll come back and start with Torgal's quest. What you will. I'm assuming there's no other um, upgrades to our medicine pouch. It's a little sad, but. Oh, over here. Oh, uh, wait. Hey, it's mid. Mid. If you have a. Ah! <laughs> That's it. I knew it. The answer was right here under my ass all along. <laughs> if this doesn't steer to the skies, nothing will. To the skies. Airship time. You aren't trying to give the Enterprise wings, are you? 
What else would I be doing? The children seem to think you're avoiding them. They're worried about you. Is this really so important that you need to shut yourself away from everyone? The Enterprise is already the fastest ship in the realm, and that's with the sea beneath her. But what if she weren't bound to the waves? What if she weren't bound to anything at all? It's not fair, the gods get the skies all to themselves, so I'm gonna do something about it. The Fallen had their chance, but they relied too much on magic. And see where that got him. No. But not me. I've discovered how to do it without. Well, almost. First, I need to make a prototype. And is that a one woman job? Are you volunteering? <laughs> I'll have you know the Enterprise is my baby. My baby. But if a godfather's offering to lend a hand, uh. I'd be happy to take it. First, I'll need oil. And not just some old drippings from Miss Molly's spits in the tub and crown. <laughs> Refined stuff, like they're making all dill. Then I'll need some bone or shell. Light, strong, preferably no longer attached <laughs> to the beast it belongs to. If it's beast bones you're after, I'm sure the curse breakers will know where you might find some. No, they'll know where you might find some. <laughs> you're the one who offered to help, remember? Yeah. I should speak with one of the curse breakers before I set off for Old Hill. See if I can't find this bone while I'm there as well. Has mid. Guess we're on there. Doll mentioned a new project yet? Mm, yes, she did. All right, Sid. Come to buy us around, have you? Only if you earn it. Mid needs a piece of light but durable bone for her next project. You've encountered your share of beasts on your travels across the realm. Any ideas? Most bones are the same. Whack them hard enough and they'll break. If it's durability you're looking for, Adamantos. shell will serve you better. You know what an adamantus is? I do. And I know to give them a wide berth. <laughs> Will any old adamantus do? Nope. Well, with shells, the older the harder. There's a rumor of an ancient adamantus down in Carava, near Old Bidza. Or what's left of the village anyway. I was hoping this was... I don't expect to make quick work of the bastard. Um, Pandemonium, but... It's lived as long as it has. Not sure why Pandemonium was just like a... What? Thank you. Shaman orc. Big shaman orc. Alright, Torgal, it is time to go on a journey again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's like nine total side quests. So we're gonna knock each of them out as fast as possible. Alright, Torgal. Where are you taking me? No. I'm going to need a little bit more than that, boy. <laughs> Do you have a better hint for me? Unless... You've already given me one. Back on the rear deck, you were looking west. Toward Rosaria. Why don't we try the rookery? The rookery? The rookery? I haven't been to the island in... Almost 20 years. To port is older then. Mm. Fingers crossed the old mooring is still there. Right. So many side quests everywhere. Everywhere. I'll just start with this one. Since we just talked to Torgal. Because we have to row, row, row your boat. Oh, to this island. It's because we're bigger. 
Yeah. You might have to swim, boy. Me? <laughs> Tori's like, God damn. Oh, hell no. I wasn't being serious. Oh. You two go on without me. I doubt that boat will hold a third. If you're sure, we won't be long. I forgot that okay, Joshua boy. is journeying with us. It's a treehouse, sort of. Here we are. This was our hideaway. Wasn't it, Toggle? Little baby Torgo. Coming here helped me to forget who I was or wasn't. Prince, Shield, son his mother could love. No. Had I been any one of those things? Perhaps. What is it, boy? This is all from the castle. And Phoenix Gate. Did you bring these here? Yes, the wooden sword. <laughs> it's a Toro did swim over here. Well, well. Oh. Well. Oh. Thank you. Togo. So sad. So sweet. For never giving up. For never forgetting. Oh. <laughs> Puppy dog. Let's take this with us, shall we? So I don't forget either. Nothing else, boy. Mm, there's probably some the way back to the boat, Toggle. monster over there. All right, all right. I'm coming. Threatening the peace of our hideout. I think I know where we're going. Or not. Never mind. talk about the importance of putting the past behind you but without it we wouldn't be who we are today 
And we certainly can steer our way to a better tomorrow. Come on, Togo. Let's go home. Hey. <laughs> so much experience to do nothing, really. <laughs> oh. That's Chris's Targo's attack of potency. Hello. Sorry for the wait. We're ready. We're ready. Let's go and do this one. Looking for oh. there's something. It's well. After what happened here, it's a miracle there was any left at all. I guess I'll the other one. Yep. This should be enough. Let's get out of here. Side quest in Rosaria. Nope. Uh, let's do this area. So there's two little side quest things. Trying to be efficient. Nazaire might at least have mentioned where in Northridge he'd be testing this recruit. Oh, yeah. Oh, there he is. Uh, I saw the chest in here, I think. Oops. Over here. Take a break and I'll be back and we'll continue with more side quests.